Yeah, so um, we actually are our assistants, and um, pretty much we were responsible for, you know, um, room preparation, um, room setups, and, you know, breaking down, desanitizing, you know, and once in a while, I would scrub in rooms, um, and along as other teammates as well, but um, that was the prim that was the pri uh, priority of our jobs. We never imagined, you know, being in this situation. So we prone. Um, so our team is we are comprised of four OR assistants, a wound care nurse, and an anesthesiologist. So it's uh, it's uh, Neil O'Neill Simpson. Um, it's Thomas Harris, Samaj Boyd, myself, and our wound care nurse is Connie Johnson and we rotate anesthesiologists. So in the morning we'd come in and the patient is supine. And um, basically based on the um, analysis of the intensivists and uh, staff that are up there, they determine um, which patient needs to be proned. Um, so studies have shown that proning has you know, improve oxygenation or actually decrease the mortality by 50%. Um, so once that happens, what we do is we take the patient and we kind of, it's a, it's, we kind of burrito them and we have different techniques. Um, so basically we take them from supine and literally prone them all the way to the prone position, but it gets very technical because we have to make sure the wires are aligned in each place. Um, we have to also make sure that we padded each bony prominence to, you know, maintain skin integrity as well as, um, you know, make sure there's no pressure ulcers. We really take care of the patient. We put the patient up in, you know, um, the proper degree angle just to make sure they're getting better oxygen. So it comprises of all those different components. <laughs> Yeah. In the OR, we're used to, um, you know, just moving patients from the OR table to the bed, and that's you know a nice fluid motion. But from from a supine to a full prone position was completely different. Now we got so good because of repetition, honestly. So we did a couple, you know, um, simulations on our own where like we would lie on the bed and we would all gather each other and we would try to, you know, simulate proning situations and with the wire. So it was really repetition um, over and over again, as well as um, just trying to get comfortable. And it's, it's just a whole lot of trust and not one person is more important than the other. Um, we're literally just one team. Um, so repetition really got us to where we are now. Um, the most challenging part is, is honestly, we have such an eager and such, you know, we, we want patients to get better. So the, the toughest part about it is, you know, sometimes we go in and we see, you know, the same patients that we prone for about several weeks and they're just not progressing. Like that's just the toughest part. Um, more the emotional standpoint is where things get tough. Um, and occasionally we would have new patients and kind of like just starting them to see where the patient is comfortable because not each patient is the same. So we have to make sure that each pa each individual patient is comfortable when we're turning and proning. But other than that, you know, those two are the, the difficult part out of it. One thing we do is we we start um, each each morning by prayer. Um, we all gather around each other and we pray, um, and that's that's really has helped us because we know we can only go through the direction of you know the one whom we pray to. So that really helped us, and we were able to talk to each other um, 
you know, sometimes if one of us gets stressed out, we can say, hey, man, like, you know, that that patient, you know, over there, you know, it really made me feel uneasy. And then we'd, we'd all talk about it. And that you know, really helped us out. <laughs> yeah it's it's the community it's you know everyone um and this is the time of you know we're in a pan a global pandemic and you know how many some people in their lifetimes may never ever see this so you know knowing that we're a part of something that can potentially change the world is a reason for us to come in every day. Um, the bond that we have is is great. You know, some of us were excited to see each other. Like, okay, like, how are you guys doing? Like, are you guys good? All right, good. Let's let's do this. It's it's literally the love and compassion that that people have been. You know, the nurses and the staff on the whole CCU and the nurse, the intensivists. Um, they've just been so nice. They've been you know, so appreciative of us and um that alone, the thank yous, the 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 hats, you know, these things, you know, allow us to come in every day and, you know, gets excited to continue to go in. Thank you. Well